Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com doing the unboxing of the HDS 12 Live. We actually just got this unit in today. Here is our head unit itself. You can see it's a lot thinner profile. This up here it actually says GPS on it. It's where the GPS antenna is. The main difference though Good God almighty, look at all these connections back here. Got our nine pin black traditional structure scan plug-in. This is a nine pin plug-in for the blue. So you guys running your through hole transducers, you will need a nine to seven pin adapter to be able to plug that in there. Still red connection there for a power cable. Here we've got, I don't know, the, the USB plug-in, I guess you could say. This is gonna be an HDMI plug-in here. We've got our two ethernet ports and our NEMA 2000. The main difference is on these units here where you're looking at, you can be running Google Earth off your phone, you can have text message alerts come across your screen on here. So a lot of neat features that we'll get into in some other videos on how to do that. But initially just wanted to show you the actual unit itself. Here is the front screen. We have a glass screen on the left hand side, have our normal button key features that we've been used to on the HDS units in the past. On the 12 and 16 though, we have our quick access keys that are progr programmable that you guys can set up yourself. And they have technically two programmings per button. So you have eight features here and you have another one on the pages fee. So basically you have nine um, different type of buttons that you can program to do what you want them to do. Also, the card reader slot over here is magnetic now. So it's not a push in slide like it was in the past with the doors. I know a lot of you guys have broken doors in the past. I have myself actually thinking you had it in right and you just push it and it breaks, but that's the unit itself. Now the power cable, again, is exactly the same that what we've guys had. So if you guys had Gen 3 stuff, carbon stuff, technically even Gen 2 stuff from the past, same power cable. You don't have to change it out if you don't want to. Got the three-in-one active imaging transducer. Again, same bolt patterns as the 3D transducer and the total scan transducer. So if you guys already have the bracketry installed on your boat, just completely unbolt, rebolt, run your cable in. You're perfect on that. Now, here's the benefit that a lot of guys complained about, myself included. So two things. One, Lawrence is using all metal brackets now on everything they're shipping out for 2019 product. The other thing that I'm glad for too is they notched right down the middle of this bracket. That didn't used to be there. And it used to be one heck of a huge hassle for running an LSS2 transducer on this bracket or a total scan on this bracket where the cord came out during the front because then they said, oh, it's just easy to run it up the side. I didn't like that. Looks dumb. I don't like that. Doesn't look professional on the installation. So at least now you can run the cord straight up the back of the transom. Makes it much more efficient. Thank you for correcting this so we're not breaking plastic transducer mounts as well. HDS 12 gimbal bracket, same gimbal bracket that we've had on the 12s in the past. Obviously this is a live unit, same stuff here, same bolt pattern as well. So if you want to change out the bracketry, easy unbolt, rebolt on, done on this. So that encompasses basically the unboxing of the HDS 12 live guys. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section, like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on all our social media platforms as well too. Again, not only for videos like this, but we also have a lot of tips and trick sections coming out for these things as well too.